having a good day. There is Twiston on the other side, a player with so much promise. And I know at yeah. times we haven't seen him really shine the stage. There's been a, the odd map where he comes online. It's getting that engine going, though, and seeing consistency. <laughs> that's a way to start it. Already Twiston's in and finding his zero, and Scream falls down. Just a couple of seconds after Vitality are off to the races already, Tom. Yeah, an aggressive start, I like this. Basically just trying to shut down any plan that could have been there for the side of Carmine Corp. Now they've got themselves into an after plant position, but with such a disadvantage, it's gonna be force. tough. Couple of low players though. I mean, they have got three, maybe even four. No, it's just three trying to force their way in towards heaven here, forcing Shin down, which now means on the low ground, they've lost that high advantage. We all know what Anakin said about that one. And still in a spot though, where just two on site. There's some little strange options here, but on towards the right-hand side. Easy close out in the first round here. Vitality setting everyone around the corner. Nibiru can only find the one. Comfortable first round for Vitality. This tune's taken a lot of damage from that snake bite. Paranoia is sublime. A secondary flash as well, and he gets both. He was so low on HP, and eventually it's just the trade-outs. Over on this A site. They can use both of them to deny utility and vision and sound and lose half their health. Nice use of that right pit as well, just to force them all back, but the immediate response coming out from Bone Cold. It's deafening everyone out here, but they push on the underside. No, sure, Nibiru finds Twister, which is the kill that you're looking for. They've got into two here as well. It finally feels like KC are building up some thunder, but Sender comes off towards one side, and he's got it all to do, facing off against three players. Yeah, big round from Nivera. We've seen this operator many a time, and he is honed in on the angle. Wow. There'll be a 4K from him. The map in previous rounds. It seems like they know that there's a player on this corner. Yeah, they're going to pre-fire it. Good trade from Destrian. Paranoia as well to try and slow anybody down as the rest of the team looks to try and execute out. But Destrian is just taking over. It's the second time he's taken a, a risky fight and come out on top. Thing is, though, he's just still going. A third kill now for Destrian and two more pressuring Twiston. Those two are coming together so well in the middle of the map as well. Just constantly collecting kills. Destrian and Sender this is as well. I know Sender went down there, but he was the bait that let Destrian find XMS and make it a third in the round. Out comes this Viper's Pit, just about getting onto the plant spot and also a lot of control inside a tree. This might make things a little bit risky for them. Finds one for himself and it's going to be a bit of a bait here as he goes in towards tree, but they found two and managed to close the round. I look for a second. The other side. Oh, timing. They're going to hear the reload. It's not being watched. Free kill for Scream. He's actually going to get a double. Finally waking up a little bit. Spike taken onto the site. Now, he is alone at the moment. Maybe having to wait a little bit just for a rotation to come in before going. Fatality wanted. They know they're going to have a couple of players in wine. This could be very, very dangerous on the retake. Yeah, already getting it to half. In fact, no, Sender's it. just sticking it all the way. He's not let go. They're just going to defuse right in front of their eyes. It goes from bad to worse. With a three. Trying to kind of bait them into a full oh sense of security. You could get nothing away with it. Dips himself away, really trying to hold them at bay here. But Vitality are just marching on forward. Again, Sender has been the backstabber of the century in this game as they march their way in towards sight. Screen falls down elsewhere. Shin goes to a great tap coming in, but it's simply not enough. As said, sometimes it just comes down to that gun skill. Full HP and XMS still needing to find out where some of these players are. Doesn't even know there's a flag. Nice, nice shot at least onto Mosey. It gives them an opportunity to try and isolate one of these jewels. This would be the big kill, but already getting oh. tagged low. A headshot connected. A chance for free <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't want to see that. We had to find one, but could find nothing here as well. And even starting the bonus round, we've got, what, four full rifles on side. So Vitality don't feel too beat up here about their chances. Scream finds one, but it's a spray through from Destrian. No one is stopping this man in this game. Sure enough, down goes the spike. XMS and Shin with it all to do. And that's the thing, all they need to do is trade from here, but the flash is just perfect. The supportive utility from Vitality is just diffing KC by an absurd margin. And while Shin, uh, he hasn't thrived on this Viper. I want to see him back on the initiator. Vitality are going to close this with ease. This was the map choice of Karman Corp. They walk into it after not playing it this year and they win 13-2. If that's not a bad omen, I don't know what is. That's yeah, exactly. That's exactly how the feel is going. Got it. Alrighty, I mean, I like it because I was about to say, we've seen the damage Ooh. that players like Sender have been doing on the flank on the last map. I don't mind them having the turret on side to at least help to hold down some areas like that. But Vitality have started this map exactly the same way as they started things off on Ascent, without an out aggression, and KC are left reeling.
Yeah, Casey at least get to start on the defense. That's, oh, oh. bone cold, bone, bone cold. Okay, I, I don't know what's happened there. Falling asleep at the wheel. I don't know what contact he was waiting for, but they've not only taken a lot of damage, they've lost a player in the meantime. This is one of the best scenarios we've seen throughout the series. I know it's the pistol round, but they managed to bring this back to a competitive standpoint. Oh, bone cold cheeky. is dancing around within the smoke. He's gonna get a freebie because of it. And the time is ticking away. Still a couple of players yet to be found. Bone cold got tagged so desperately low, but now on three kills, they're back to get so with four. One, the killjoy, the other. And it looks like they're going for a similar thing again, where you can see the killjoy out towards A and the Viper sat across on B, but Vitality are ready to come in at force again. Yeah, they're just being direct. They, they just don't we care go. about the utility on the other side. Scream, though, this time in position, but it's only going to be a one and done. They managed to get themselves the opener, and bear in mind, there are still weaknesses in the buy that is there for Carmine Corp. Spectre in Zero's just gone through. A little bit delayed on the push through the smoke, but at least they've got the trade back. And this time, they have actually denied the plant from coming through. It's exactly what you asked for just before this round started as well, Thomas. Let's play for some retakes here. They got the one for one early on, and in the four versus four space on that side, now the realization will come through. But even still, this is one of the best scenarios the Carmine Corp have had so far. I want to say the fell for it's the indecision that gets shown there in the middle of the round. You know, you've got two players hovering one towards spawn, one up towards mid, and they're like, okay, is, it, is it A, is it B? Where do we go from here? Shin finds one, gonna go for a swing here onto Destrian. He's playing off the back of this too. Now once the rook can go for the cross, uh, the cross sorry, to look in towards the sides itself and has the right idea. They've got that numbers advantage. Is this the first time they find a round? They're waiting with the nade. He's still holding this utility. Time ticking down, and that will at least buy them an extra couple of seconds. Shindo's doing well, holding onto this cross, not allowing them to get back in. If he could just deny oh. this on his own. And Shin has awoken. This is exactly the same. Execution. Now, I do like the XMS is just playing that a little bit more passive. Just trying to find something on the spam. And it means that there's not going to be a free kill, at least. Like, I, I genuinely prefer them just trying to play this retake as a squad rather than just every time playing it as a disadvantage. I love how they're just playing Protect the President this game as well. Bone Cole's able to just stroll in once he's had the jet and the raise. The security guards charge on four, make sure everything is clear. And then in he strolls to merrily put down the plant. Casey for yet another round here oh, as well, no. are forced in towards Garage. They keep on oh, sending no. two players in, and then they're always forced to fight their way back through. Navira finds at least oh. one back. It's a small reprieve though. It's still a four versus three. Yeah, and they've barely taken any space. Finally making their way back okay. through. Navira has managed to get one. Already looking to try and get onto the plant, hiding in the smoke. Navira might just have this kill for free, but they need to start getting on some form of defusal. The time just ticking away, and I think Navira's already had to make the call to just escape this one. They also have Seekers, which again, you've got every single ult you could need for a retake. Showstopper's oh, wow. going to be used instantly, and well, there goes the lockdown. Well, See you later. <laughs> Gonna send me to Tom. It's all yours. It's an oh, absolute Shin. ball over again. All right, Shin. We've seen him have a four <laughs> Let's not even talk about that one. Twist and closing things out. I don't think it's going to matter. They, the, ju they just don't have the weaponry. It's the caution as well from Destrian and Sender, holding so far back here, just protecting any bat fans coming on through, leaving the rest to focus entirely Good on name. towards spawn side. Screens is where the aggression was coming on through. They've got at least one kill coming in, but Sender, as mentioned, is doing a bit of work. He finds three for himself, but he was the one holding the flank. Now he's the one pulling off the flank. Three fall down, two left standing. XMS at least gets one. Now down to himself against four. It's again going to go against them. It's 10 and 1 to Vitality. Yeah. Vitality with about 30 seconds to work with here. We've seen them kind of make a decision several times in this series between the 30 and 40 second mark. And sure enough, the players coming in, TPing towards backside. They know that now there is one there, but it's trying to find the others. They don't know about the omen that's a little bit too close. They get rid of one, and it feels like Ooh. finally they force them back, but two kills come in. <laughs> it doesn't seem to matter. No. The clutch plays on the other side, spikes no, in an awkward like spot, this. and Dastion! More players on that A site, a clear read coming through, and I can only imagine this is going to be a straight-up retake. Sender's only goal, get one kill. That's, that's the aim here, get one kill off any sort of trip, and well, the trip's already been destroyed. Well, they know it's off towards the left and off towards the right. Enemies are everywhere <gasps> at the gates. He gets one to do here as well. Shin finds two, makes it third okay, as well. Then. That's the kind of hold you want to get things moving. We said, was it repeatable? It's taken a while, but it has come back in. Bone has got to do it now against three. God, I don't think he's going to be able to stop them getting their second round. That's something at least coming in thick and fast in towards this B site. 
There we go, playing a flash as well, straight in towards deep side as well. We've about the one up close as well. The only that I'm worried about for a few seconds is Destry not close, and he cannot win out the gunfight. Scream finds his man, they're on the side as well. Down goes the spike, and once again, KC are in a numbers advantage. I like this. Look to try and confirm this round. You've got a long build back up using that Viper's Pit. Flash is going out as well. Now they are all somewhat isolated into this corner. It gives some opportunities for spams to come through. The counters being attempted and Twiston just watching, waiting to see if anybody attempts to play outside of the pit. Instead, they are all somewhat trapped in towards this corner. It might just be an attempt to try and lock them in towards the end, but instead the double swing out works wonderfully. And now Sender, last man standing. A Spectre probably not going to help him out too much. And again, he might just want to try and kill them all off. Splash comes out as well. And there we go, New Zero on the swing for a second. Thought he might miss it. Utility coming around the other side. Maybe just to try and bait that shot out and allow Scream to take that control. Comes out, sees the man as well. Going to dodge straight out. Showstopper comes on through. Going to find absolutely no one, but Shin has got the entry, and that's exactly what they were looking for. You see the back of the cape, and it's Scream popping off. Twiston bringing him down in response. Three still left for Vitality here, but as you mentioned already, the momentum just keeps on rolling forwards. And a bit of a rotate coming in for Vitality. Bone Cold holding firm, but there we go. Navira is at the very back and gets the response. It's op versus op. It's two versus three. They're going to find one for themselves. The swing comes in, and it's literal trades back and forth. XMS has got a hold. That is in. What are you doing, my man? Gets just out. Of it swings in! AC again taking it a bit slow, just feeling out what's coming out of Vitality. They know there are no more missteps allowed. They have to make this work for six rounds in a row. Oh, Moz is gonna peek as they're spamming the wall, but New Zero guarding, patient from XMS, catching them on this aggression. Bone cold. If he can get this kill, he actually has the res and brings it back into that 4v4 scenario. Spike still behind them. back as well. That's a bigger problem, and Destrian again! He always seems to be in the back lines, always seems to catch them with their pants down. And they now might know that there's a player still lurking around. Watch them. I think it was such a good shout as well. Screaming New Zero really wanted to get the pinch onto Garage and force the defenders the to the good. other side of the map, but there was the backstab coming in. A little bit of an overcommit, and it might just prove to be absolutely fatal. He's having to go the long way. They were watching and would have caught the man with the spike. 20 seconds left oh. as they look to make the move and just almost spike give it to him as a freebie. Okay. It's left in Avera trying to clutch this out. One versus four. Shot missed and it's game over. Vitality, just like many before them, run through Carmine Corp. And although, again, there was some false hope going into that second half, it is a bleak, bleak day for Carmine Corp fans. As so many of his have uh, proven to be, unfortunately. I mean, for me, we saw KC starting to bounce back into it. We saw some good rounds. The focus, the determination to hit site hard and fast and leave Vitality reeling really paid off. But in that last round there especially, just a little bit of an overcommit, I'm afraid.